Hey biology students, I want to show you something really important about these notebooks that I'm going to ask us all to have. We're going to have one notebook for biology class. Sometimes it's going to stay here overnight. Other times you'll be able to take it home, but we're going to capture an awful lot of our hard work in here. And let me show you last semester's bio notebook. It's big, it's beefy, and it is packed, packed, packed with handwritten things as well as mounted items. So here's the most important thing about your notebook. First off, it should be about 100 pages. Um, and this one I got, it's a three subject notebook that's not necessary. It um, has a nice pocket. Well, it had a nice couple of pockets. I think the pockets are gonna be in the middle. Um, and I may have torn off the front pocket, but this one I think was uh, probably close to $5 at Target, which is a little bit high priced, but here's the trick that you have to check before you make any purchases. Take an 11 and a half, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and put it in the notebook and see if it fits on that page neatly, and then you can close it. Make sure it doesn't hang out the side. So that happened, um, fits very nicely with this three subject notebook. I found a little bit smaller one that was a lower price point. This was just a one um, subject notebook, which was great, again, by Five Star. It's kinda got a nice heavy duty um, cover, which I think is very helpful. Um, but again, the key piece here is that you can mount a full size eight and a half by 11 piece of binder paper um, that I may be giving you into this notebook without anything hanging out around the edges, which I've done kind of a bad job because you can see the one below. Um, my favorite, well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but my favorite least expensive option was one that I found at Walmart. This was a uh, pen and gear. Um, I bought a stash of them uh, in case anyone gets really, really stuck but um, you can still pick these up for, gosh, I think they were $1.47, no, $2.47, oh gosh, I think they were under $3, but I'm not quite sure, I'll have to go check my receipts. But again, you pop this thing open, make certain that an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper is gonna fit in there, boom, you're set. You don't need much more than 100 pages, if you get the 120, that's great, but try to stay away from the 70 page, um, um, notebooks. Last thing, some of these notebooks look so great and the price points are dreamy. However, if you're really not careful, what's going to happen is what happened to me the first time I went shopping this summer. I went in, grabbed a bunch of these notebooks, brought them back to the classroom. This is how I would try and mount this in. It's not going to fit that way. And then I'm going to close it up and dagnab it if it's not going to hang out. We are gonna do all sorts of work in these notebooks, so that just will not work. You gotta get one that completely fits within that notebook. So happy shopping, please have that notebook as quickly as possible. We're gonna do some work on the first day of class, but I'll give you a couple of days to make sure that you've got your notebook. Thanks, send me an email if you have any questions at all.